name is Sam and I am one of the counselors for the Stormers Bunk here at Horizon Day Camp. I'm so excited to welcome you to episode number two of Abstract Art, where we love to paint but we don't use paintbrushes. Now instead of a paintbrush, today we're going to be using something that you can probably find in your kitchen right now. It's not a spoon, it's not a cup, it's not a plate, but it is a drum roll. A fork. You got it. We will be using a fork to do all of our painting today. Now you might be asking yourself, what could I possibly paint just using a fork? Have you ever heard of a puffer fish? Also referred to as a blowfish. A fish that lives in the ocean and can puff up and have spikes all around its body. Now if you haven't heard of a puffer fish, that's perfectly fine. I have a few examples of what your pufferfish could look like. I have one right here with the purple and blue. Let's get a close up on that one. I have one with green and yellow. I'll show you a little close up of this one. And finally, I have one of pink and orange. So you can use whatever color you'd like to use today to create your puffer fish. So that's the activity. Are you ready to hear about the materials that you're going to need? All right. So to create a puffer fish today, we are going to need three materials. The fork that I mentioned before, some paper, and some paint. Now you can grab whatever colors of paint that you would like. I have quite the variety here, um, but I think I'm actually only going to use two colors today to create my puffer fish. So that's all you need, a fork, paper, and paint. Should we get started? Okay, so we have our materials out. Let's get into these step-by-step -step instructions. As you can see, I have zoomed in my camera so you can get a clear view of every single thing that I'm doing to create this puffer fish. Step number one, you want to be in a space where you can get a little bit messy. As you can see, I am doing this activity outside, but if you can't get outside or you don't really feel like going outside, that's okay too. You can bring this activity indoors as long as you put down some newspaper, maybe some paper towels or napkins to make sure that you don't get any paint on anything that you don't want paint to be on. We're not going to get as messy as we did in the splatter activity featured in episode one, but we still are using some paint, so we just want to make sure that we're in a space where if a little bit of paint flies off the paper, that's okay and we don't have to worry about it. So that's step number one. Step number two is to pick whatever colors you want to use to paint your puffer fish. So today I think I'm going to stick with two colors and I'm going to pick orange and yellow. Now I just picked these two colors for today but you can use as many colors as you'd like. It is totally up to you. So the next step, moving on to step number three. And step number three is to put some pretty big drops of paint down onto a paper towel, a paper plate, a piece of construction paper, um, just somewhere where you can safely put kind of mini pools of paint that you will dip your fork into. So moving on to that next step, we are going to take our fork and we're going to dip it into one of the colors and create, I'll move these out of the way, create the spikes of the puffer fish. So as you can see, I dipped the fork down into this paint and I'm going to stamp it out onto the piece of paper. Now this orange color is going to serve as the first, the top half of the puffer fish. As you can see in these examples here, I put one color on the top, in this case purple, and then another color goes on the bottom. So we're going to use orange for this top color and you can try out a few different techniques here. You can do the stamping like I'm doing or you can do some strokes of the fork. You can do little ones, you can do big ones. I kind of like the stamping technique, so I'm going to keep doing that. So that's our top half. Now to go on to the bottom half, we're going to wipe that off. 
get into the next color and it's okay if these colors mix I actually kind of like when they do I think it looks cool and we're gonna do that stamping again practice those techniques to make the spikes once we have our spikes down that's the body of the puffer fish we are gonna create the fins as you can see on here we have two fins or just two triangle shapes how do we make those fins using just a fork we're gonna flip the fork over and use the bottom side. So I'm gonna take this, dip it into my paint. Let's see, I'll dip it into both colors to do a little swirly effect. And we'll start with the first triangle. One side, two side, and the third side of the triangle. And then that's one fin down, one to go. Here's the second one. We have one side here, we have the second side, and because there are three sides in a triangle, we're gonna get that third side. You may have to dip the fork back in the pan a few times in order to get that. So you can color those in if you like. I'm gonna keep mine just with the outline of it for now. We have the body and the spikes of the pufferfish. We have the fins. What is our last part? the goofy face so we're gonna put a goofy face on our puffer fish and the way that I did this for these examples was really just to cut out circles three different circles from the white piece of paper that I'm already using so I cut those out and I used a black marker to color them in and that was how I did it you can make a face like this you can make some goofy eyeballs like that but at the beginning of this video I did say that the only three materials you needed was a fork, paper, and paint. So if you don't have scissors by you, if you don't have a marker, I encourage you to get creative with the materials that you do have. You can take some more paint and just do two drops to create the eyes and then do a little squiggly to create the mouth. You can see if you have any googly eyes or pom-poms like this, maybe some stickers you can use to create a face on your puffer fish. That is totally up to you. And again, get creative with it. You can also take the fork and try to do kind of a circular shape with paint and see if that helps. I didn't put any paint down, so it's not showing anything here, but you could try that too and use that fork. Keep going with our utensil of the fork today. And those are these steps of this activity. That is how you can create a puffer fish only using a fork, some paper, and some paint. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me throughout this video. Again, my name is Sam. I am one of the counselors for the Stormers Bunk at Horizon Day Camp. I'm so excited to be able to share these activities with you, and I cannot wait to see you next time. Stay tuned for another episode of Abstract Art, where we love to paint, but we don't use paintbrushes. Bye!